I was born by the river in a little tent and no just like the river I've been running ever since it's been a long a long time coming but I know a change is gonna come oh yes it will oh it's been too hard living but I'm afraid to die cause I don't know what's up there Beyond the sky, it's been a long, a long, long, long time coming, but I know oh, a change is gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Then I go to my brother. Huh. What I say? I say, brother, help me, please. But he always ends up knocking me. Right back down Oh my Bending knees Oh There's been times I fall I would last too long Now I think that I'm able to carry on It's been a long A long time coming, y'all But I know A change has got to come Oh, yes it will Hey! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family Welcome to the Mental House with me your host, Khadija. I want to thank my ancestor, Brother Samuel Cook, for writing that prophetic uh, piece of uh, classic that will go on and it will forever serve as a song that lets us know that we just got to keep fighting. And every generation has got to pay its own debt. Every generation when it comes to us. And we have to realize that, you know, um, just hearing about, let me say, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you on. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. No, I ain't going to talk about 5150, this, uh, this, uh, show. I just wanted to talk about really, man, um, you know, how these white folks are still getting away with murder. And things cannot go on the same. And I understand that some people are being arrested and blah, 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 blah. I wanna see some bodies, um, I wanna see some serious charges. I wanna see some people locked up for real and not being released. I wanna see the same treatment that is done to black people that need to be done. For instance, there's a lady my age here. She's a little older than me. All right? Her name is Linda McGovern. And she's a Strat Stratford, Connecticut. Now, she done drove up to the uh, Capitol, White House, and told officers she was with law enforcement and served in the president's cabinet. She showed a commemorative coin now as ID. 
And then when they asked her a few more questions, I guess uh, her crazy ass drove off. And then she was arrested after uh, a medical evaluation. Okay? Thank God. I don't want to see her gone and, uh, you know, back at home enjoying herself. There's a New Mexico County official and a founder of the group Cowboys. And Cowboys for Trump is the name of his organization. He was arrested by the FBI. A Mexican official. A stupid. He didn't call the man uh, rapist and, 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 and uh, um, uh, 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 thugs. Yet you out there representing. Okay. Now. Long with that, I just got to tell you what's been happening in the crazy world because I don't know what's the, what's the more mental outside or in. Listen to this. This is the most egregious madness thing I've ever heard. One of the most egregious. Um, that there's this uh, 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 Mar Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh, she needs to resign. She's a white supremacist. Y'all already know she done brought a gun up to the... She done done every damn thing. She's a vile Trump supporter. I'm not saying I'm stepping out on the limb when I say all uh, uh, Trump supporters are racist. And I don't know what sounds so crazy about that. Either you are or you not. Okay? Donald Trump represents race, bader, horrible, hatred, and racism. Now, you may not see it that way. That's because you're probably with the control group. And if you do, if you um, look like me and you don't agree with that, you're probably a supremacist. You're just a black supremacist. Like I told you, I have them in my family. I've had a family member tell me that the world would be perfect if the, there would be no crime in the inner cities, if you would get rid of all black and brown people. And I still can't believe my, my loved one said that. Um, with all, again, with all the false flagging that officers and police officers do, he had the nerve to say that. So, but I'm, you know what I mean? So there are some of y'all who, uh, and it's, it's the worst kind of war because it could be your neighbor. And this is what we're on the verge of, y'all. You could feel it coming. You can see the storm coming in the air. Um, Phil Collins. I can see it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Some of them have been waiting for this moment all their life. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. You can see it. Some of them are still upset because they expected um, they, they, they expected Donald Trump at the last minute for an army to storm out on Joe Biden. I mean, this is insane. So, um, if if you know what has happened, Two weeks ago. And you still pussyfooting around. That means y'all still ain't taking it seriously. Or or you really, really want uh, white supremacists to be the order of the day. And you really wanted you to go back to a, a country when heroes were zeros. Okay? You really want to go back. Because I got no other choice but to think so if you can let these people bring guns into the uh after all that's happened what is wrong with y'all i mean the madness is so profound and i can't believe that you know you people are that insubordinate you know and i'm not gonna let joe biden off the hook because so much for unity. How in the hell can Joe Biden sign a divisive executive order pushing schools to include transgender athletes in girls' sports? 
I don't appreciate that. The girl, the transgender should have their own damn transgender group. There's no man that's done turned into a woman should be competing with women. That's totally unfair. And what is wrong with your mind? What is going on in America? Winter in America. Oh my God. Of all the things you signed to executive order, you ain't signed no executive order that if you shoot another black person down that's unarmed, that doesn't have any, and you shoot them down and kill them, you automatically go into jail. Now, you ain't signed that into no damn executive order. But some damn transgender athletes in sports? Oh, man. Y'all, if y'all think the house ain't crazy, if y'all think the house is not mental, if you don't think that the people that are steering the boat, no matter what denomination, what party, are mad, then you take uh, a, a, a page out of this book right here. And then you begin to see um, that something is seriously wrong in America. And y'all don't understand, but the only people that can lead you out of this mess, the only people that's going to lead y'all out of this is black people. Only people that can lead you out because you always need us to save you. And it looks like that time is here right now. You need to be saved from yourself. Because you've gone too far off the deep end. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. And you've gone so far that unless you change and make some great big fundamental changes, you we can't survive as a nation. And um, we're going to have to stop with all this pussyfooting around the garbage. We'll have to stop it. Otherwise, we still on a rocket ship to hell. I, that's just my opinion. Y'all tell me what y'all think about. Tell me what you think about this chick, this Marjorie um, Taylor Green, um, because they, 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 it should be a demand for her to resign. She need to get the hell out. This is crazy. What is going on? It's just insane. A Trump loyalist who joined Capitol Mob after taking a stash of weapons to Washington is arrested by FBI agents in Manhattan on an inauguration day. Nearly one in five of more than 140 MAGA riders charged so far in this Capitol siege has served in the military. See, these people got a plan when they go, we got a plan and we can't exercise our role in democracy. We can't, we're not being allowed to. We keep being put, uh, having the reins put on us. But we're the only one that can show y'all through the door, through to, to democracy. Those of us who have y'all have wiped y'all feet on for so damn long. We're the only one can show you a way out of your arrogance. And your pompousness. And your destruction. And unless you were to include and make this an equal society. Make it true to what you said on, on paper. And unless you're willing to do that. America is not going to survive. It can't. Y'all can't keep doing the stuff y'all have done to people. And think they're going to sit back and watch. It's getting crazier and crazier. When are you going to allow us to be whole, equal participant? Not just in symbolism. Not just in symbolism. But in real work. Because that's what I pray happens. What y'all think? Maybe I'm going too far. Y'all tell me. If you're not, hey, we'll see. 
So leave your opinion below. I, I got to know. I want to know what you think about the crazy bra who wants to bring. And also the Republican, I mean the uh, representative that wants to go on the House floor. What's his name? Uh, oh, God, what is his name? The guy that walked on the floor. What do you think about the Mexican county commissioner? What do you think about these people? I mean, should we give them another chance? Should they be in, should we treat them as insurgents now? What's up? What should we do? The Olympic swimmer. Tell me what y'all think. Cause the change has got to come. It's got to come. Alright, y'all. I'ma see you in the next video.